Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. Now a look at the top stories. Government issues ward reservation notification. 52% wards reserved. Only two wards reserved for ST women. Dupatta killer Mahanan Naik convicted in Shiroda rape case sentenced to be pronounced on 5th October. TTAG predicts 15% rise in chartered flights, complains about tourist visas affecting tourist inflow in the state. Goa State Pollution Control Board gives a clearance to gas pipeline from Gokak domestic connections through pipeline soon. Cesar Football Academy boys can match any team, says coach Clifford Chikuwama. And now the news in detail. Government on Friday issued ward reservation notification for municipality elections. Out of 137 wards, 71 wards are reserved. Around 52% wards are reserved. Government has reserved seats for other backward classes, scheduled tribes, ST women, OBC women and women in general. Only two wards are reserved for ST women. At last, the ward reservation notification was issued on Friday. 11 municipalities will go for poll on 31st October. All the aspiring candidates are eager to know the ward reservation notification. Due to this notification, some heavyweight municipal councillors will be forced to contest election in other wards, else they will have to sit back home. Reservation of seats for women, ST and OBC women, general ST and OBC. Mudgaon, 2, 7, 13, 16, 19, 4, 10, 3, 8, 15, 17 are reserved. Murgaon, 2, 4, 13, 16, 19, 7, 10, 3, 5, 14, 18 are reserved. Mapsa, 4, 8, 12, 14, 1, 11, 5, 13 are reserved. Kuchare, 1, 4, 10, 7, 11, and 6 are reserved. Kepe, 7, 10, 1, 6, 2 are reserved. Kunkori, 7, 10, 1, 2, 9 are reserved. Kankon, 1, 10, 7, 3, 9 are reserved. Pede, 1, 10, 7, 9, 3 are reserved. Dirchale, 1, 7, 10, 8, 9 are reserved. Sange, 1, 7, 10, 4, 5 are reserved. Walpoi, 7, 10, 1, 3 and 8 are reserved. In Mudgao and Murgao, out of 20, 11 wards are reserved. Mapsa, 8 from 15. Kuchare, 6 from 12. Whereas in Kepe, Kunkori, Kankon, Pedne, Bicholi, Sange and Walpoi, 5 out of 10 wards are reserved. Chairperson of Madga Municipality, Savio Kutino. Chairperson of Bicholi, Satish Gaonkar. Shekhar Kadapkar of Murgaon. Vice Chairperson of Mapsa, Oscar Di Souza. Councillor of Mapsa, Ryan Braganza. Former Chairperson of Mapsa, Sneha Bobe are the strong contenders whose wards are reserved for the municipality elections. And hence, they cannot contest the elections from their current ward. More importantly, Babu Asgaonkar's brother, Rajendra Asgaonkar's ward has been reserved for women. He had earlier warned of contesting assembly election from Madgao if his ward is reserved. Here it is clear that CM has given a deaf ear to all the warnings. Now, 11 municipalities will go for poll on 31st October with 137 wards. Our principal correspondent Murari Shete for Prudent Media. Dupatta killer Mahanan Naik has been convicted in the 2009 Shiroda rape case. This is the first case in which he is convicted till date. 
Sessions Court of Panji has convicted Mahanan for raping and blackmailing a close friend of his wife. The sentence will be pronounced on October 5th. Session Court Judge Nutan Sardesa has convicted Mahanan Naik in the 2009 Shroda rape case. The sentence will be pronounced on 5th of October. Mahanan was booked for raping a close friend of his wife for three years. It is only after the victim in this case complained to the Ponda police, other dupatta killing cases of Mahanan came to the fore. However, Mahanan claims police have framed him in this case. Investigating officer C.L. Patil briefed us more. Mahanan Naik. तो सीरियल थी लड़ा थे गाइस इधर रेप के सीन कन्विक्शन ना ले सा ये तेज पुलिस के साथ ली पंडा पुलिस ने नजर रेस्ट के लिए थी देखो कन्विक्शन पड़ रहा है तेज पंडा कन्विक्शन प्रेस तरक दो ना मारा रस There are number of murder cases registered against the Dupatta killer. He has allegedly killed many girls after giving them false marriage promises. However, he has been acquitted in the two cases till date. This is the first case which has led to his conviction. He will be sentenced on 5th. A reporter from Panji, Lokik Shilkar, Vivek Prabhu with video journalist Onkar Farari. Travel and Tourism Association of Goa has predicted a 15% increase in chartered flights this year. The first chartered flight from Holland arrived on Friday morning. However, TTAG has complained that complex tourist visas are affecting the tourist inflow into Goa. The Travel and Tourism Association of Goa has predicted that the chartered flight arrivals will boom by 15% this year. During the last three years, Goa had seen a slump in tourist inflow due to recession. We are quite positive that it is going to be better than last year. Because as per the flight confirmation that we have, there is going to be an increase of 15%, on an average 15% of the visitors. There has been also increase in the number of passengers coming out from the UK this year. We have seen the number of flights have gone up. There is to be, uh, last year we had 202 flights coming in, so this year we will have 232 coming, that is about 15% increase. And uh, there is slight increase of uh, from Russia and CIS countries as well. So totally this year, there should be, there are already 718 flights confirmed as against 626 last year. Director of Tourism Department Swapnil Naik informed that the first chartered flight carrying travel agents from Holland touched down on Friday. Today we have received one flight uh, which is carrying about 100 travel agents and travel related operators from Holland. Uh, they have almost, they have almost finalized the restarting of charters from Holland. We may be aware about 2-3 years back we were getting a uh, substantial amount of tourists from Holland, but last two three years they had not operated. Now they have restarted their operations from this year, and basically this uh, charter which has come today is a reconnaissance group, basically to see the hotels and sign up with the agreements. And the TTAG also highlighted the complex visa problems that are affecting tourist inflow to Goa. Only three months visas are issued, which is discouraging travelers from visiting Goa. Another issue highlighted was the garbage problem in Goa. Our reporters Jason Suarez and Lokik Shilkar with video journalists Sunny Narvekar and Omkar Falari. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.